We are up in Laguna. We're about to do a shoot for some regiment, some Vestonic. Yes, sir. We're about to link up with the homie Matt. Hey, tell him the little promo we running right now. Hey, tell so if you cop in Vitality Club and you're using code Jello, saving yourself some money, you're getting a free Vestonic. Yes, sir. Free on the house. On Send the house. me a screenshot of you your You have to be in the order. U.S. Yeah, it has to be in the U.S. Send me a screenshot yeah. of your order. Maybe Canada. Hey, actually, hey, fuck Canada. Mexico. Hey, let me know Mexico though. Text no, me no, Mexico. No, no, probably not. Just I'll pay US. for shipping, bro. I'll pay for shipping. Yeah, yeah. Tell I got fuck you. With you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Mexican, bro. Maybe he can. So, we'll see. So we'll I see. Got, we'll gotta, figure it out. Let's try. I gotta handle that out. Yeah. So you just go jello. Let me know. Yeah, hit your boy up. All right, we're about to go eat some tacos, and then we'll you know get the day started. Dude, are we going to Gold's or Six Gold. Cents? We're going to Gold's, we're going to do some legs. That sounds good. We're going to do some legs. Should be good. I haven't filmed a leg day video in a while, so I'm just going to train hard. That's all that really matters. Yeah. By the time you guys might be seeing this, I might not be on Young LA anymore. I am going to be joining Dystopia. Dystopia. Baby. I only get so much out of it, and my. My initial kind of intentions with Young LA or with a brand in general was to be a part of something and build it. I'll make a little bit longer announcement when it's official. As I see it right now, I shouldn't be with Young LA for too much longer. Yeah. And it's gonna be a still beauty of the moon, so. 2024 is gonna go crazy. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of reasons why I'm doing it, but I'll probably get into it a little bit more later, but for now, that's just, that's just that. <laughs> okay, this is not that much. It's like one scoop. I think I'm sure. Bro, it's like half a scoop. It's like half a scoop, man. I know you're You bugging. Man. You bugging. I know you hate This shit looks insane, bro. Whoever did this graphic, you fucking cracked. I know you hate it, man. Yo. Bro's cooking. Bro's cooking. He did the swirlies and I'm shit. I'm like Walter White. <laughs> Yo, you guys, it's actually kind of crazy, bro. Damn, he really drinking it. Chug, chug, chug. You got the Jello pre workout. They got Jello signature pre. I know you hate it, man. Finish it. Look at you guys, with me being a part of Dystopia, you guys get to see behind the scenes. So Junior, are these these are screens right here, right? Hand printed, baby, hand printed by us. Junior, you gonna grab with us? Yeah. I love it. What'd you get? I got your five Oh, yo, it's cold. Yo, bro, yo, look at this, bro. Yo, Junior, what you got, bro? Look at your assets versus my assets. Damn. Bro, what is it? This broke. guy's 21, bro. I'm 17. You got 17. I'm 17 on broken real estate already. Damn, Damn already. boy. This guy, bro. He just mocked out you. He just mocked out you. Hey, right now it's about seven. You guys might have seen some clips of Jello printing. That's gonna be for Dystopia, and then I was just on my computer editing. But yeah, we're gonna be going back to Golds for the second time today. Right now we're just gonna run up the sauna, get some sweat out. Um, you know, I'm kind of excited to do it because Thanksgiving, I ate, I didn't eat too crazy. I didn't go on no like 10K calories. I was probably like eating 4K for like three days or so. so but I've been locked in these past few days. It's nothing crazy. Like, um, it was kind of just like enjoying, you know, the food of my family, which, you know, I don't blame myself for. You shouldn't blame yourself for either. Yeah, so I've been on diet for the past like three days, so that's good. This guy, Joe, I thought he was supposed to be bulking. Who even knows at this point? I am bulking here, but... I'm gonna get moved by this. Bro thinks he's like a Lux Maxing Sigma G or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, I've been waiting all week for this. So that being said. Let's get this. Alright. This package looks like it has a lot of stuff in it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. Holy before I start taking everything out and showing you guys, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Bucked Up. And I can tell that recently Bucked Up has definitely upgraded their products. I know sometimes I'll get some backlash because they're like underdosing, but in my opinion, 
if you're taking a product and you like the results it gives, then that's all that matters. I don't think the ingredient labels are really the end all be all. I think it's depending on your experience and if you like it or not, simple as that. But honestly, like my favorite pre-workouts were never really stacked pre-workouts. They were always just pre's that felt good to me. First off, so the first thing I pulled out. Let me see if you guys can see that. I got some buck build. It looks like it's a glutamine and creatine mix. Um, that's actually clutch because I've been wanting to start taking glutamine again. I used to take it every morning when I was a little bit more like bodybuilding focused. But right now my diet's changed up a little bit. I'm kind of more focusing on just getting in whole foods and more like intuitive eating. But obviously eating a lot of protein, make sure I'm putting on muscle. Next, it's a, 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 apocalypse, something like that. This is um, blue raz. Hell yeah. All right. I'm gonna start like, I should put this shit like somewhere cool, right? Alright, so I'm hyped about it. I'm hyped on this one. It's like, I think more of their high stem pre. It has 6.4 grams of, 6.4 grams of beta alanine. What the fuck? This one is no joke. Okay, I was just talking about how like, oh fuck the labels, but this label's stacked, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to try this one. Doing this for probably fucking like tomorrow. Um, Miami flavor, so it's probably gonna be like, I never tasted fucking my hand. Um, oh, bucked up. Watermelon, hell yeah. So I think this is the OG bucked up. Um, definitely not a stacked formula. If you talk a little bit of crap on this formula, I can understand that because this is like, I think it's the, for the first formula that's in all the supplement stores. And if you really think about it, at the end of the day, the supplement companies, they want to make money. So if they, put, if they put a good product in there and it doesn't cost them a lot of money, then they're fucking making and the customers are happy. So if you like it, then fuck with it. If you don't fuck with the label, and you want to be a little bitch, cry about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna have to try this though. It's like a dating pre. Um, a lot of my homies like it. Woke AF. How the fuck yeah, dude. You guys, I'm flat. Bro, thank you, Bucked Up. Code Dane for Bucked Up. I was gonna try these products out and then decide if I want to get sponsored or not. But I'm too fucking hyped. This shit is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Dane for fucking Bucked Up, you guys. Like, get some fucking Bucked Up. You know what I'm saying? Woke AF. Looks like it's a little bit more high stem than Bucked Up. Um, looks pretty similar though. A little bit more stacked than Bucked Up, I'm pretty sure. Good, that one actually looks really good. Some Buck Berry flavor. Hell yeah, bro. All these, they look great. All these products really do look good. I'm saying, what the fuck? Okay, this box got a little bit messed up. This is called Pixie Pump. This, is, this shit is sick. What the hell is this? I'm tickling my cheeks right now. What the hell? You guys. Pixie Goddamn Pump. Are you, are you? Pixie Goddamn Pump. There's dextrose and carbs in here, it looks like. Not much calories, though. Um... Interesting. Buffed up, original protein, buck feed. That's what it's called. It's chocolate. You know I'm saying you can't go wrong with this. I'll probably give this to my brother, one of my homies, because I don't, I don't eat whey. You know what I'm saying? I like, uh, I stay away from dairy. Uh, keeps my skin a little bit more clear. So I'm gonna got one more thing. Sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping right now. I'm not gonna lie. Sure. Have you buffed up, bro? Thumbnail. W W. I'm real time top shit. I told niggas drop a dot. They ain't on that. It ain't enough for me to shop I just go for some cognac. Where the fuck my flip for that? This my throw it. Fuck the police. Fuck the judge. Fuck the DA. That ain't even free. Ten eleven the crew. Hopefully this lighting's okay. I know the filter I have on it makes the light look all blown out, but bear with me, you guys. Beautiful. This one's nice. Y'all yeah, nice. see this, bro? This is a dystopia. This is why dystopia is gonna come up. Yeah, this is nice. So that's gray, and then black. Black is clean, too. Look, Look at my lads, bro. Oh, yeah, I go large. Yeah. Oops. My bad. Medium is huge on on uh, Jello. My Jello's small. Okay, you supposed to do anything that take a nigga life away. I ain't even gonna fuck that bitch, but fuck that shit. She get in pipe that day. Do a little taste test. Hey there, I've been waiting for this. It's Miami. I tried the woke <coughs> AF and it was really good. <coughs> why is my ass? One cold? thing that I would brother, say about the pre. Why is it wet below me, brother? One thing I would say about the woke AF is it, the beta alanine was the most like the biggest uh brother, brother, biggest you, component of the pure gout. Were you spilling your water here? No brother? blood. <laughs> so yeah, the woke AF one was fire. The beta alanine was really strong. Um 
but it was overall just a really good brie. I felt stimulated. You know, I'm kind of this addicted. This one's stronger? So, yeah, this one's supposed to be even stronger. So it goes Bucked Up, Woke AF, then Mother Bucker. So I tried Woke AF. That one was fire. Bucked Up is a really um, good daily. Yeah, and this one has double the amount of the beta alanine. Uh, no, this is cotton candy. Blood is tripping. Blood thinks it's It Miami. is cotton candy. But they don't have cotton candy in Miami. Yeah, like they, they have mimosas in Miami. All right, taste test real quick. That was a good shot right there. This one's fire. This is fire. I'll be honest it's with you. It's fucking good. I really it's like this good. flavor because especially when you have really strong pre-workouts, they typically are they're really like sour. Oh, their best flavor Here. is the blue raz. Mm, I haven't tried that one yet. No, it's good. Really? That one's I'll, I'll probably get that one soon. I no. usually dry no. scoop. I usually dry scoop because it's ass. 8.5. Oh, fuck. My bad. Relax. 8.5 out of 10. I'll give you guys an update with the performance out of it. Overall, it's fucking gas. I'm like halfway done with this pre. I really feel it. I really do feel it. It's like the, the itchiness is, is heavy. But. And the sense of urgency is heavy. So I'm kind of walking in right now without finishing it. Usually I'll finish my print and then I'll walk in. We're going to Six Sense. I haven't been to Six Sense in about like a week. It feels like. Uh, usually my workouts here it's are really nice good. Teacher, brother. Where'd you get that from? Oh man, it's just from Dystopia Athletic Club. Um, you should use code name, it'll save you 50%. This is hitting hard. I feel good. I love a lot of beta alanine, so if you like beta alanine, that itchy feeling, if you have hard workouts and you get sore a lot, this is it. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I can't believe I'm saying this. I feel fucking geek. You guys, I know I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. A full scoop of this shit made me fucking throw up, and I feel like fucking shit right now, bro. It was a bit, it was a bit too much. Uh, so yeah, I'm fucking dying, but I'm getting through this workout. I'm getting through this workout. So I've been after every sound, I've been fucking laying down on the floor. All right, you guys, we just finished the workout. Um, besides the part of me throwing up two times and me having to lay on the floor, it was a good workout. And yeah, after the second time I threw up, I was chilling. So we good, good workout. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory so I'll help you understand why I'm leaving. So yeah, when I started making content, there was one person that I really, really idolized. And some of you guys might already know this already, but it is Sush. He's a person who really inspired me to start posting and to get on Young LA as well, because he was growing with the brand and as he was growing with the brand, like he had this crazy cult following, so everyone started hopping on Young LA, um, and it became this really fucking sick thing, right, for a bit. Um, and the athletes were kind of like closely connected with Young LA. There wasn't much athletes, so it was a little bit less like diversified. There was just like a core group of athletes, and you would know them like, oh shit, they're on Young LA, you know. And yeah, it grew really quick. There's about like 200 members now, um, and I'm gonna be honest, like it sort of feels like I'm a pawn, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like I truly belong in, it doesn't feel like I truly belong on that brand. At the end of the day, they're a really big company and their main objective is to make more money, become the, like one of the biggest companies in the world. They're the fastest growing right now. So um, in their eyes, I don't see why they wouldn't want to, you know, shoot for like a Nike status or something like that. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're bringing on huge celebrities. And so at the core young LA, like OG culture, that shit's starting to like, to disappear just because of how big the company is. And yeah, when I saw Sush and Young LA bouncing off each other and just growing together, I was like, damn, like I wanna be like that. I wanna be working close with the company and have like creative direction in it so I could really be truly authentic when I'm pushing it out to people. Like, yo, you guys should go check this shit out. Cause bro, Young LA, they'll do like two to three drops a month. And if you wanna stay on the team, you're gonna have to promote it. So, so yeah, whether you like the clothes or not, the drop or not, you're supposed to market it in order so you can make sales and stay on Young LA. 
So a lot of people think it's all sunshine and rainbows, but bro, at the end of the day, it's like we're marketing, you know? And if I'm doing it kind of against my true intentions and like how I really feel about the clothes, then it's just, it's just, that's not cool for my followers, you know? That's just kind of like, it's being a little bit dishonest and shit like that just to bring in some money, which is, it's not a lot of money. Let me tell you that. It's not a lot of money, all right? And that's the other reason I want to join Dystopia so I could really build this shit up with the homies. Like, that's the one thing I want to do, bro. I'm going to keep yapping. I don't give a shit. Like, um, if you guys want to really feel purposeful and fulfilled, bro, build some shit with your tribe. Build some shit with your homies, bro. Um, like, yeah, I can keep helping this billion-dollar company grow, or I could cook some shit up with my friends, have fun, you know, film content while we're making the clothes. So, yeah, you guys, go check out the site. I'm going to link it below. And if you fuck with the piece, you already know, use code name. It'll support me. And it'll also support my boys, too, so... This is what I'm trying to do, bro. So I've been trying to do my whole life. Yeah, I'm trying to build some shit fucking big and cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be this little pawn just so I can have this title. Um, I'm trying to build some shit from the ground up. And I'm trying to have some good experiences with my homies, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's You can try shit. it. You can try if you want. You can try if you want. I'm not going to use it a lot. No, you can try it. It tastes pretty good. It's, <laughs> just, really it's just like it dextrose. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Hey, make sure you mix it, you like. Me and Della were like eating this for like 20 minutes, remember? No, it's a pixie dust. It's pixie dust. It took so long. It has dextrose, bro. bruh. Is it just pump? Yeah, it's just pump. It's a little bit of carb, a little bit of pump. Some nice, you know what I'm saying? What the heck? Some nice. You have water right there. No, try, try, try. It's pretty good. Okay. It's like five calories, bro. How much calories? 16, maybe? Right. Oh, yeah, 10 calories per one. So, try it. Oh, shake it, shake it. That's the mistake we did. We made. We didn't shake it, and then we were eating, like, the it's ingredients on its own at different levels. Potassium <laughs> was the last level, okay. bro. I'm gonna give it an honest review. All right, honest review of Bucked Up Pixie Dust. This is my least favorite product. Um, FYI, from actually, yeah, from uh, uh, Bucked Up. Well, KF is my favorite so far. You guys, Coke fucking dang bitch. Oh. You can put it in your mouth, man. Okay, my Pixie Dust, just like just take it back to chow. Uh, East no chill. Oh, a let, let him do his thing. <laughs> It's pretty. It's okay, huh? It's a little, but you get the little, little bit of like, oh, it's like a pre-workout type of feeling, you know, at the, at the end. Not bad, huh? This is your least favorite product. Well, we are, like I said, we didn't shake it, so like at first we I had like. I would slam one of these before every workout. Ethan, you could have some. You could take a couple, man. But like, keep doing, keep, keep consuming it though. <laughs> keep consuming. Bro's gonna get a pump no in way. his sleeve. Yo, yo, he likes it. He likes it. <laughs> Oh. It's solid. You shaked oh, no. it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I got a hint of the other ingredients. Yeah. Hint of the other ingredients. Yeah. It gets a little iffy after a bit. Like, I'd rather just kind of be like a Rice Krispie treat. No more. <laughs> <laughs> no more. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what we were thinking. We're like, oh, it's good. It's good. And then at the end, like, yeah. Five out of ten? Four out of ten? Three out of ten? Three out of ten? Oh, you can't finish it. Like five. Two. two. Five? No, that's lower, huh? Five is average. Like two. Come on, you gotta, yeah, bro, it's not that good, guys. Don't ask, skip, you guys could skip on Pixie Why does someone ask, can I get him to I'm gonna save this. Well, yeah, there you go.